Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video, I guess. Basically, if you could only buy five eyeshadow palettes, and these are the five that I recommend, if you could only get five, I'm just going to let you know they are all high end, unless you consider Morphe a drugstore option. I don't really consider it drugstore, it's kind of in between for me. I'm doing these in no particular order. These are just the five that I think if you could only have five, these were, would be the ones I recommend because of the color schemes, the formula, the brand, just everything. The first, I also have nails on. The first one I recommend is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes, a velvet matte eyeshadow palette. So this is an all matte eyeshadow palette. There is actually one shimmer shade. It's not very shimmery, but this shade here is a shimmer. I think this is great for beginners and also for traveling. It kind of has everything you need in the palette. Um, and it just, it sticks to one color scheme and the formula is really nice. Really, It is like a velvet formula. They're very soft and smooth and creamy. And I think there is a good variety variety of lighter shades and then more dark shades to deepen it up. And then like the base shades over here and the peachy shades. So yeah, I think this is great. I think Too Faced is a great brand and it smells like peaches, which is a great thing. And the packaging, like it's not super big, which again is good for traveling and good if you don't have a lot of space to store your makeup. That is number one. I guess we'll do my other Too Faced palette. The other one that I recommend is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Really any of the chocolate bar palettes are fine. I have I have this chocolate bar one and the chocolate gold one. I like both of them equally, but I feel like if you could only get one, I would recommend this one because it's a little bit more versatile in my opinion. But you could even get the chocolate, like the semi-sweet, or the chocolate bonbon, or like mini chocolate bar palettes. But I just have the normal one. This is one of my favorite just all-around neutral shade palettes. And what I like about it that like is a little bit different is it's not very warm tone. Like it has like, it's not a cool tone palette, but it's also not warm tone. It's kind of just neutral, which I think a lot of eyeshadow palettes these days are not really because this is a bit of an older palette so i think this is great i also think this is a great palette to get if you wear makeup to places where you're not allowed to wear really dark or dramatic or not a lot of makeup like school like even if your job doesn't allow you to wear that much i think this is a great palette and again it's too faced so it smells like chocolate this time and there are a good variety of mattes and shimmers, which I also do like. We have two from Anastasia. The first one I recommend is actually the Modern Renaissance. Currently, this is my least used Anastasia palette, but that's just because it's my oldest one and I have newer, more current ones. But I do recommend this one if it's the only thing you can get. I think it is a very versatile palette. It is a more neutral palette, like it's not a colorful palette, but there are still those pops of color that you have that you can make it into a colorful palette. Like, let me just take the brush out. This one in Venetian Red and Love Letter and Real Girl, just like, and even Red Orker, just like all those kind of more fun colors in here can can help you make it into a colorful palette even though it's not yeah i, I know anastasia palettes and even the Too faced palettes are a little bit more pricey but if you can afford to purchase some i do really recommend because they are great my other anastasia one that i recommend is the amrezi this is actually my favorite anastasia palette first of all the packaging is like pink and glittery so cute um this one compared to the other anastasia palettes there is two extra shades and this one's a little bit longer 
Um, this, to me, again, I do not consider this a colorful palette, but it has those pops of color that you can make it into a colorful eyeshadow palette. Like, sorry, the mirror. Resi. Leo. Cupcake. Samsa. Literally, like, all of them. Like, all of them. And the shimmers are unreal in this palette. They're... Some of them, unfortunately, I know people don't like this, but some of them are pressed glitters, which I know people don't like because apparently they're not eye safe. I like pressed glitters. They are kind of messy, but I think they really do intensify a look and make it a little bit more fun and creative in a way. And it, it obviously has a good mix of mattes and shimmers, and but you still have those natural shades down here and those darkening shades I don't know how you describe them but all the shimmers are so pretty and the mattes blend incredible I think this one is more also a bit more expensive than the rest of the honest Lucy palettes I'm actually not 100% sure you can get this in store anymore but I think you can get it online but I will check and I will add it in and then the last palette that I recommend is a Morphe palette and I love all of my Morphe palettes so 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 much but I c if I could only recommend one it would be the James Charles palette. Now I would actually recommend you getting the mini James Charles palette more than like the original one because it is a bit smaller because this is a 39 pan eyeshadow palette. Morphe 39 pans are normally really big like this one. So the mini one is still 39 shades, it's just smaller pans and the whole thing's just a smaller palette. But I do have the original which is just as good. I think this is the perfect palette to get because it has literally every single shade that you need. Basically the whole two, two like top two rows are all your, ba your neutral like soft glam. Like just classic everyday shades and there are a few pops of color like the orange is up there the reds up there but like overall it's like the neutral and even the middle row with the big pants are still neutral and I think the middle row out of this whole palette is the most important because it has the matte white the matte black and it has those perfect transition shades for different types of like skin tones and it also has this shimmer shade which is gorgeous it's actually a highlighter so that is great because you can use it as a highlighter and then the bottom two rows is why i use this palette a lot it's the bright part of the palette and these are to me some of the best colorful eyeshadows they are incredible i love the pink even though it does stain I forget what the shades are called, so I'm sorry. It's just so incredible. The blues are great. The yellow is good. That lime green is great. Everything about this palette is so good. And for how many shades are in this palette, it is a decent price. I actually don't remember the exact price. But for example, like this, like Anastasia palettes are normally $60. This is was definitely cheaper than this and this has fourteen shades in it and this has thirty nine. This was probably I think oop around fifty dollars. So like honestly this is probably the best like if like honestly if I could only recommend one it probably would be this one but I love all of them. All of these they are great so yeah that is today's video i hope you guys enjoy this very 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 much i hope you all are doing great and staying safe and healthy and i love you guys so much bye